You guys see this? Teen depression and suicide rates are skyrocketing. Not surprised. Look at the ideas they're getting taught in schools, on TV, and social media. It's awful. You mean like the identity politics and self-esteem movements? That's part of it, sure. Kids are told that their identity is the most important thing, that they're victims based on their group. But the bigger problem is the underlying philosophy. When you teach kids that truth is subjective and conditional on power dynamics, reality itself becomes a nightmare. You're defined by your victim group and the world's out to get you. That sounds like some Marxist gobbledygook to me. Doesn't just sound like it. It's yet another clumsy reskin of the class power struggle that Marxists have always used to analyze everything. Meanwhile, postmodernist philosophy sold kids other bad ideas, like nihilism and relativism. Nothing actually matters, and reality is subjective and unpredictable anyway, so who cares? No wonder they seem lost. <sighs> that would really destroy kids' sense of certainty. How can anyone know where they fit in when nothing's real anymore? They can't. Back in the late 2000s, neuroscientist David Rock developed a psychological model highlighting the core needs people have in order to feel confident in themselves and connected to their community. There are five factors conveniently summed up in a nifty acronym. SCARF. Does that mean it's lunchtime? You know what? Shut up. No, it doesn't mean that. Status, certainty, autonomy, relatedness, and fairness. People need to feel in control of their own lives. They need to feel like they have some agency. They need to feel like the rules we're living by are actually fair and subtle, and not just a conglomeration of clashing whims. They need to know where they fit in and what steps they can take to improve their position. And they need to know that other people in their network care about them and share their culture. That makes sense. Sadly, most of what schools and universities are teaching kids right now misses this. They seem to want kids to think they have no autonomy. The rules people are expected to follow change based entirely on their identity. Reality is unfair and uncertain. They've been taught that life's outcomes are determined by nefarious forces in business and government, bigotry targeted specifically at them, and dumb luck, not their own choices and actions. That just sounds like narcissism. That's messed up! Did we set an entire generation up to fail? What else could we achieve by demonizing success? Yeah. Give them the scarf values in ways that actually make sense! Maybe then we'll see depression rates drop. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Share this around with your friends.